Hi, good morning. Let us discuss today topic how we can uh, return the work order for a QFID in manufacturing. Okay. So first install uh, login into our QFID instance and uh, click after once it's a login then click the home page. Here there is a home page icon that click the home page icon. Go that uh, you know oh, supply chain execution offering. Click the supply chain execution offering and uh, click the uh, click the work execution function. Okay. This work execution, on this board dashboard, right? Just uh, we have this manufacturing organization uh, in the right side. Okay, so make sure that we have selected appropriate manufacturing plant. Okay, if we we, we need to change that manufacturing plant, then by using change organization, then we can change the plant. So then, uh, I'm here right in this session. I'm taking that existing uh, completed work order. So by using that existing work order, uh, how I can uh, you know return the work order. So in coming videos, definitely I will uh, you know uh, show you how we can uh, you know uh, create the work work order uh, with the, I mean how we can create the return work order without you know work order reference. Okay, or in orderless returns at all. So I will come in videos. I will record and I will show you. I will upload you. So then here just click the task here and uh, click the manage work orders. Click the manage work orders and I'm just querying the existing work order. So this is the existing my completed work order. Just click the search. Here, see, this is the, the computer status. So, this work order I'm going to return. So, for that, just go to the review dispatch list, the task list, in the, uh, click the review dispatch list, and select search, oh, sorry, uh, expand the search, and here just change the status from ready to by default, it will come the ready. And we need to change the such parameters from the ready to complete and keep it that uh, tablets work area. It's okay, find that and just so it's showing this you know work order and or else directly we can give the work or work order. It's the one zero double. Okay, so in this work order, we have two operations, we have the three operations actually. So out of these three operations, we have the only two operations is the count point. So those work operations which is having the count point, then definitely we need to go perform the operation completion if it's a normal work order. If it's a return work order, definitely we need to do return that operations manually. Okay. Here it's a tenth and twentieth work operation uh, operations are that the count point operations. So that's why I'm going to do that. Uh, if you want to see that, right? It's already the other tab already. We opened the work order. Click the work, open the work order and click this operations. See here, this operation we can see that count point. What is the point? See, tenth operation is the count point, and twentieth operation automatically returns back, and uh, even thirteenth operation is the count. So since it's a count point. Our uh, tenth and thirteenth uh, operations are the count point, so definitely we need to return this operation. We need to perform the return or put the return manually on these two operations, count point operations. Okay, automatically transact the operations are not, not not required. It's automatically it will uh, you know return the operations when it's done this point. Okay, so here I'm going to the again review dispatch list tab and here right so. Expand this okay. So, here, right when we are returning, right or from to top, it will, we need to return that. So, reverse quantity, how many quantity we have can reverse. Let's say, for example, here in this work order, we have the only one quantity. So, we are reversing that, uh, you know, reverse to ready status. We are changing the to the from one only one quantity. If we have this more than one quantity, that partially also we can return that. So, return and just reverse to ready, then click the completed, 
and uh, just click the click and here in if you see here right uh, this 13th operation we do not we are not we do not have the any material or I mean components to issue so just we have this resource only to complete this operation so here this we have the two resources that people finished and submit. Okay, see here uh, it's completed. So see here if you see here you have set the pointed reverse to ready status in the operation 30. Now uh, in this work one zero fifty four. So this operation right this we can see the history as well. Here, our order, right? Here, our order, there is a review or history tab, or here, and transaction history, or here, uh, right? We can see. See, earlier when we are creating the normal work order, it was the unreleased from, or we changed from unreleased to released, and we have done the operation, then uh, completed the work order. Then it's uh, changed the status is from the release to completed. Now it's changed from uh, we have written the reverse right uh, from reverse to ready. Then the status changed from the completed to re released status. Okay. So and what are the what are the transactions we have done? Then in detail uh, transaction history. Also we can see okay, the transaction history. Okay. So here see. 13th one resource reversal happened and resource reversal happened in 20th operation and 13th operations operation returns happened and product returns products also returns happen if we have anything these are the uh, transactions that trigger and since here is so what are the resource uh, right components or resources are reverse or uh, reverse right here we got the information what is the quantity and all all the information and things the review production transaction history this is the one way to come here and there is another way just to click the task in here directly we can go the review completed a review production transaction history click the review production history and here that it will show you that we can give the you know what order and we can do the search here okay. there is the and another one uh, here we have the another operation to return that so we can return this one as well. so this operation let us do uh, our 13th operation we have done completed with the details and i'm trying to give that uh, this operation with the click how it will be here. so just change the quantity from 0 to 1 and click the click see we have set the quantities the reverse ready to status the operations at 10 and work order. Okay. So then it's automatically it will not show that uh, you know each by one by one by step if you click it choose that you know click complete and so it's automatically by it's quickly it will complete this uh, you know return of return this operation. Okay and uh, here okay uh, I'm going to see this one transaction history here just and reset see here tenth operation reverse happened and operation return happened Re reverse uh, resource reversal happened and here right in tenth operation we have the material so all the material automatically written because this supply type is that you know operation pool so if other than other than push supply type right so automatically material return or material you know or material issue it will happen so here uh, let's say if you want to see then here right if you see here operations you can see it is click the items or cut the page and uh, here right so this right see here supply type is operation pull so other than you know uh, push right is uh, operation pull assembly pull and the bulk uh, and all right that automatically issue the midway 
okay either return or uh, you know forward or it's normal work order completion also it will automatically if it's a push then definitely we need to manually we need to return that uh, you know or uh, material or we can uh, issue the material for the part of the work order. okay so that's all uh from, okay fine then uh, let's see uh what are the transaction here we have seen right there is the of thank you we can see uh next video thank you for yours